All right, so we're able to add a record. The last thing we need to do is update a record. Now, something I want to add down here in our form, our input for the ID, I want to change this to read only. Read only. Just add that after the uh, value there. Doesn't need to be in quotes or anything like that. But we don't want this to be, be able to be edited, but we do want this value so we know which record to update. Go ahead and save that. Hop up here and below our uh, uh, is set add clause here. Let's do a new one. If is set post save, because that's the name of our button down below. Clean this up a bit. All right, so this time we're going to use what's called unnamed placeholders. And this is only for an example. Um, you do this however you feel necessary. Um, sometimes unnamed works for a quick fix. Uh, and sometimes using the named ones works way better for organization and things like that. But we're going to start this out very similar. We're going to run the uh, prepared statement. So statement equals... C pair. And since this one's going to be an update, we'll do update users set first equals. And here, because we're not using name placeholders, we use these kind of anonymous placeholders, which is a question mark. So question mark, comma, last equals question mark, comma, then website equals question mark, where ID equals question mark. All right, this seems silly. All right, but uh, bear with me. So we need to do this again. Same thing we did up there, only this time we're doing it uh, as unnamed placeholders. So Statement find param and instead of names we'll just give these numbers which we're setting these to the slot in which they are here so kind of the order here so one would be this first time a question mark appears so one comma post first Close that off. Copy this and we'll paste this a couple times. We need one extra one uh, than we did before because we need the ID. So two is going to be last. Three is going to be website. Four is going to be ID. All right, so we've set up our parameters. We're going to go in the order that we listed them, and then all we need to do is execute. One thing I remembered uh, we forgot to do is we actually forgot to wrap this in a form tag. So after our while, let's go ahead and do form. Take this closing and toss it down here. And we need to make sure that our method is post. Save that and we should be good to go. Otherwise this button would have done nothing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and change my name back. Quant. Save, and there you go.